first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor just due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Noise in the gospel, broad lifting up the standard of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Mr. Akim, Mahalo, you coming back with another lesson, of course, we'll be out of fine. Uh, this is titled, A Lot of You Dudes Are Gonna Be Casted Off Into the Hour of Temptation. Um, what I'm noticing now is a lot of guys they get kicked out or uh, it's lucky. a lot of guys that get kicked out or that, that leave the camps or fall out or whatever reason um, a lot of them man are getting butt hurt and disgruntled you know and they're putting out wicked doctrines um, regarding the different covenants and we're in a new covenant and all the other bullshit like a lot of you niggas, man, you just need to just shut up, man. Shut up and, and fucking uh, go, 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 go somewhere, man. Like, we ain't giving you cats no more attention, man. I mean, to the point, you jakes, man, we in a time of all hell breaking loose in America. If you can't see that, then that's your fucking problem, man, all right? But a lot of you dudes are fucking clowns, man. A lot of you are fucking goofies. And I wasn't even really going to even speak on it because it was really irrelevant, but... You know, this whole new covenant, old covenant things. For one thing, if we were in a new covenant, we wouldn't be doing videos right now. We'd be already in the kingdom. Okay, read, uh, what is it, Jeremiah 30 and 30. All right, it tells you about how the Most High was set again the second time and recovered a remnant and make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Okay, because the first covenant was broken. Okay, which was under the law of Moses. All right, now, in between that, you have, uh, uh, grace, which Yahweh Shah has given us grace to get back into the right way and keeping our law, statutes, and commandments. So, therefore, we'll already be here preaching the word because say we're going to rehearse the righteous acts. All right, so we ain't in the fucking new covenant right now for all you idiots out there that's teaching that dumb shit. When you were in a new covenant, you have a new body, okay? You have one thing you wouldn't be teaching, and seeing a lot of you niggas approve how unlearned you are. It's because you think of New Testament being the New Covenant. No. <laughs> no. Because, hey, didn't Yahweh Shah teach from the Law of Moses? Okay? So, no. When you think of Old Testament, New Testament, or Old Covenant, New Covenant, no, man. It's simple. Come on, start using your head, Jake. But a lot of you dudes, man, a lot of you dudes are just hurting because for whatever reason you fell out or you left or you got mad or you got kicked out or whatever, a lot of you niggas are just mad at that. And now all of a sudden the truth is to blame. Now the doctrine is the problem. Like I always say, with a lot of you bug outs out there, what happens is, is that when the truth don't benefit you no more, when it, it, it's sour to you, and all of a sudden you want to blame the truth. Now it ain't the truth, but when you was a part of the, the fold, you the so-called white man is the devil X, Y, and Z. But when you have a problem with the order, and then all of a sudden you get booted out, or whatever the fuck happened, and all of a sudden you niggas want to twist. You always got to make the doctrine a problem, all right? So this whole old covenant, new covenant stuff, man, dude, whatever, man. You dudes are a bunch of fucking goofies. You ain't no better than the Christians, man. Calling yourselves Hebrew Israelites, but you acting just like a fucking Christian. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you dudes are going to be talking about an hour of temptation. Why? Because for one thing, you're not holding fast to what the Lord said. The Lord said, hold fast to which thou come, which thou have it, unless, the mo unless he will come and take thy fucking crown with a candle. Okay? So you got to hold fast to what you were taught. All right, now you got brothers out there that's not part of a particular camp, but yet they're still teaching the word, man. They're still teaching the, the right doctrine. You know, they're going out every week and they're teaching the right things. Those brothers are still part of the body, man. Even though they don't have the great for their name, but nonetheless, uh, those brothers are still part of the fold, man. Okay, because you're going to have men like what um, Peter up and he said well uh uh he come he basically told me said look there's some other guys preaching in my name you know what i'm saying and the lord said well shit forbid them not they coming in my name and they're doing the right thing then forbid them not like don't hinder them you know like you got several brothers out there that's not part of so-called gms but they're out there teaching the word and they're teaching the correct doctrine man all right like the brother from the buck camp man i don't think he's part of great millstone per se but He's teaching the right doctrine. He's teaching the apostles doctrine. He's giving double honors and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, he's coming in the right spirit. So there's no gripe there. But, you know, you dudes, man, all of a sudden, 
like I remember a while ago, when a couple of them cats from Cali fell out and when uh, Nazariah and them fell out, all of a sudden the earth is flat. There was no nuclear missiles. Uh, uh, the chariots wasn't so-called UFOs. Okay, all that stuff, man. And just the doctrine changed. Why? Because they were offended. The 12 tribes, what are the 12 tribes no more? They had a 12 tribe sign. And only thing it said was scattered, scattered, scattered. Okay, so if they're scattered, okay, but who are they? Because even the scattered ones have some type of identity to them. You just got to distinguish who is who. Okay? But he had a 12 trap sign that said scatter, scatter, scatter. Like that. Well, how is that teaching Jake? How is that giving them any particular reference of anything? Somebody see an Israelite chart that says scatter. That's basically you saying you shouldn't even have a chart out there. Okay? Because yes, the tribes are scattered. Common sense will tell you that. But overall, it's just like, okay, but still these people have to be labeled some type of uh, uh, what do you call it? Derogatory word or some type of byword, okay? But we don't know that the Haitians are the Levites. We don't know that the Judites are the Negroes. So, what are you saying? How was shot when we call a so called Negro, which is a black man, if he was here today in America? You see, and it's little dumb shit like that that make the most high really put you niggas out your misery, man. Because now you start to hate men. Like I say, I, don't, I can't, I mean, my salvation is way too important for me to be sitting up here mad at a group of people because I didn't do right, okay? If you didn't do right, then then nigga take the rebuke. It's just that simple, okay? Now, you got some cases that you do suffer wrongfully, but also, that's still a test. But if I was in the camp and I was causing problems and the intention and I'm on behind trying to change the doctrine, saying, well, look, man, we under the new covenant, this and that, then nigga, you ask to get yourself out of here because the scriptures say we ain't supposed to have no schisms in the body, you know? And that's just an example, man. You know, it ain't really none too deep. But the hour of temptation, a lot of you guys are going to get thrust into it because a lot of you have already convinced yourselves that the MOTB is not what we say it is, okay? The MOTB being the implantable, you know what? A lot of you are doing away with that. Saying, well, nah, that can't be that, brother. You had people that thought that the C-19 and the junk juice or the, the, the junk man was uh, the, the, the uh, MOTB and we kept telling people no. Like when I was working a job, man, uh, I wasn't arguing with the people. But um, everybody kind of had an opinion on what they felt the MOTB was. And people were like, well, it's the, it's, the, it's the Vanessa, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, how stupid can you people be? I said, it is not that, you know what I'm saying? I said, it's the you know what. The, 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 you, the, the R to the F to the you know what. And, and I said that. And, uh, you know, they're like, nah, nah, man, because you came by and said, I said, you crazy. I said, people are still working without that thing. What are you talking about? I'm working without it. What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? So it's just that being said, a lot of you don't really believe that. And a lot of you choose not to believe it because you have to have an excuse as to why you're going to take it. That's why I made the comment yesterday. I said that, look, a lot of, you know, a lot of people, they'll leave the truth, but they'll be offended in the truth because they want a reason to not be in order. But just because you don't want to be in order, does that mean that what we're teaching is a lie? Once again, Romans 3, I think it's 3 and 3. It says, God forbid, let every man be a liar and the most high be true. So you don't have to believe that uh, 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 getting a line up or eating pork is not a sin. You can believe that eating pork is righteous all day because you choose not to believe in Leviticus. But overall, you're still going off because the word of the most high is set. Okay? And like we tell you, Jake's all the time, this thing is not based on your emotions or your opinions. This fact is black and white. The law is the law. It's black and white. Okay, now, Jake, of course, try to bend it. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to bend it and make it fit their lifestyle. But look, man, the scriptures say thou should not commit adultery. Then you ain't supposed to commit adultery, man. Ain't no way around that shit. Okay, scriptures say you ain't supposed to eat shellfish, catfish, whatever. And you're not just supposed to do it. Okay, it's no, well, I don't believe that, so therefore I ain't going to trust it. Well, don't trust it, but you're going to trust it when the missiles are hitting your ass. Okay? Because a lot of you niggas, man, like I said, a lot of you Jakes, man, out there, you just full of shit. You know, you do your little two-minute videos in a dark room and think you might get the fuck out of here, man. And stop tagging brothers in your motherfucking videos, man. man I don't care about y'all weak-ass videos, man. Videos ain't making no fucking noise. You ain't doing nothing but repeating what another motherfucker said because they were mad. They got fucking booted or left or got offended. I don't like the way that this brother uh, said the Lord. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to make a skull video. Man, just wrote the fuck up, man. Oh, the fuck up. Because all you niggas, man, you talking that shit when the most high really send this devil at you. A lot of you gonna fold, man. A lot of you gonna fold. A lot of you gonna take that, you know what? 
just because the most I ain't dealing with you, man. That's why the Lord said, if you keep the uh, word of his patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And when you're teaching people that we're in a new covenant and that we still got to go out here and teach. And if we was under the new covenant, we have spiritual power, we have the new bodies. We wouldn't be teaching the word, man. Israel, wouldn't, they will already be taught. Okay? So, no, we're still under that covenant. We're still in between grace, man. Okay? Now, the first covenant is not going to save us because we broke that. That's why we have a grace period. All right? Because if we were under the new covenant, we would be totally perfect in order. We're not. So, Jeremiah, I think 30 and 30 and 31 and 31 cuts that shit. You know? But like I said, man, you dudes are fucking, you dudes are uh, clowns. Man. You know, I don't even know why I'm even addressing that shit. It just was on my spirit because I really wanted to go in the family of the word. Okay? Because I noticed, man, uh, certain brothers have got their videos clipped and taken down. Um, he saw us took it down some brothers' videos and they weren't even saying anything. Like yesterday, it took me damn near half a day to upload some videos. And when I checked the uh, thing this morning, it didn't even upload. It said upload failed. So I had to just re upload it this morning. But I did that video yesterday at like 4 o'clock. So, and one brother even said on the comment board that uh, when he uploads videos, they only let him do seven minutes. You see, seven minutes of uploading a the video, then they cut the rest of it. Same thing with the elder brother from Cali, man. He did a video. And somehow it didn't save or upload. Now all of a sudden he has to, uh, he had to redo it. And sometimes that's the bad thing because you would do a badass video and all of a sudden the shit get deleted, the, the, the file get corrupted, the, 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 uh, uh, the audio goes out. It's always different variables to it. I mean, you can put your all into that video, but then when you do it again, you don't feel it the same way, you know, because it's like the certain points you made initially was just those points because the spirit brought it out. Now you gotta try to go back and rekindle the spirit you was in. It's hard as hell, you know. That's why, hey man, this scripture, this, this truth is not gonna be without trial, bro. This whole thing is a big trial that we're in. Okay, from brothers getting sick to illnesses, people trying to poison us, you know. Like I had a dream yesterday. I won two races, man. I was running a race, and I won both of them. Luckily, man, you know. But uh, and then again, I had a dream about an REL, an REL represents in Hebrew Ariala or Ariella or Ariala which means lion of the most high okay so I perceived that an angel came to me in a dream last night man and but the thing of it I knew I knew this person but for whatever reason it was significant because it wasn't about the person it was about what the name represent I'm like what the fuck are they popping up for like who the hell why are you popping up but then I thought about it spiritually the scripture the spirit said well what was the name of the person that popped up in your dream I'm like well, it was Ariel like and I was like, oh shit, lying to the most high. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the spirit of it was very pleasant. It was very calming. It was very um it was very soothing, man. It was just very comforting and, and tranquil. It wasn't anything aggressive about it. And I figured the Lord sent the an angel to show brothers, and that's the spirit, man. Um it says four mercy. Look at that. That's the spirit. You know, it'd be little things like that that the Lord threw in front of us. Like, you know, we ain't all into the numbers and stuff like that. But, you know, I do. they do have a thing such as the Most High communicating through angels because they call for angelic number or represents mercy. All right, the election, seven completion. I think one is wisdom, if I'm not mistaken, or three. And uh, the list goes on. But overall, man, um, the Lord, he's dealing, you know, and Most High's getting ready to heal, brothers. I got to, you know, I feel that in the spirit. You know, so we ain't got time to go back and forth with you fucking... Uh, Castaways, man. With you dudes out there, you fucking dropouts or fallouts, whatever you want to call it. We got time to go against you weak ass niggas, man. You niggas are trash and you mad. So be mad. Alright, be mad right up until the missile smoke your monkey asses, man. Alright, because hey, we teaching salvation and repentance over here. Like all of a sudden, like uh, the, the apostles, 30 years we had it wrong. You had a group of misfit niggas that rose up and now all of a sudden they got the truth. The same thing that happened to them cats in Detroit. Same thing that happened to them clowns out there in uh, the ITR. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, the apostles had it wrong. Now the Most High raised up a bunch of group, a bunch of carnal ass niggas. Now they got the truth. Okay, but where they at now? Where y'all works? Where y'all diligence? Okay, because from what I was researching, the scriptures say, "Give diligence to make thy calling and election sure." Okay, being diligent, being on fire for this thing, and it ain't just doing a bunch of shows. It's how you walking in your everyday life. You know. How you dealing with the brothers, man? Are you being considerate? You know what I'm saying? Being considerate on certain things, being considerate of brother situations, man. 
you may need something from a brother, but a brother may have something important going on. So, hey, you got to put yourself to the back of the line and wait. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fuck up another brother's progress because you need something done. Okay, are you considering things like that? Fuck no, y'all ain't. Just a bunch of group of niggas that watch videos all day and find issues to point out that it's no issue at all because you couldn't get in line. Well, I'm, I'm hurt, man. I don't like that. So I'm teaching that the new covenant, uh, uh, we under the new covenant. Well, hey, be under the new covenant because, hey, go ahead. You the dumbass because the Lord going to say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. Depart. But Lord, did we call on your name? Then we call on you, then we then we cast out devils in your name. Yeah, Lord gonna say, depart from me, I never knew you. Because a lot of you niggas that call on you, how about you, how shy, most of us gonna starve with you first. Alright, because a lot of you got the name of the Lord. You know, you use it, but you use it in vain. Because you don't really mean it. You don't stand behind what you believe in. You know? Two minute videos. You're doing a video in a dark ass room. That's that's right. That's a telltale sign that a nigga ain't right. I thought the scripture say let your light shine before men. You know, even when I used to do my transits early in the morning, and I hate when I get up on these people. They want to drive slow. Alright, I ain't got time for this shit, bro. Like, stupid people, I need a mic, dog. They, these people are so fucking entitled. It's ridiculous, man. I can't stand you eating mics, man. Now everybody mad because uh, they overturned that road versus way. Good. You know? Anyway, brother Slock, your brother been the type of precepts. I was just in the spirit. Timothy 4 and 3, it says, For the time will come that they would not endure sound doctrine, but go after their own lusts, should reap it to themselves, teachers having itching ears. Right. And um, that's that false proverbial doctrine, man. Okay? The itching ears going into false doctrines and the fact that you got niggas teaching this false doctrine that uh can't get with the word man okay and they basically having their consciousness seared because they don't really believe in uh in the faith of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai okay uh what else Luke 9 of 49 it says and John answered and said master we saw another casting out devils in thy name and we forbade them because he followed not with us. And Yahweh said it to them, forbid them not. For he that is not with us, he that is not against us is for us. Right. So I ain't gonna forbid a brother that don't want to be part of Great Millstone. I mean, shit, brother say, look, you know what I'm saying? I come under y'all order. You know, I just want a permission if I could go out there and teach. I mean, you still gotta come to the order, of course. You gotta let let the you know brothers and stuff know. But uh, you know, overall when brothers set up camps and stuff like that, man, and they truly in the right spirit. I have no problem with that, man. Because at the end of the day, it's all the effort. We all help one another to, to get to the common goal. You know, some brothers lead the camps and, you know, some things don't work out. Then they go out there and teach on their own. But they don't break down. They don't fuck up the doctrine. You know what I'm saying? That's really what it matters. I mean, you can have an issue with a particular brother all you want. You know, you squash it and keep moving. But overall, man, if the doctrine is on point, then it ain't really nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really nothing to really fret about. Now, at least that's just how I look at it, you know, but it's not about me, of course. Um, uh, Isaiah 66, it says, I will also choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none of them did answer. But when I spake, they did not hear it and they did evil before my eyes. That's right. And chose that which I delighted not. Come brother. So a lot of you jakes are under strong delusion. And, you know, like that movie, I think it was not, not Bird Box. Was it Bird Box? One of them movies, it was uh, with Sandra Bullock. Basically, what happened was the Most High, he put people's fears before them. You know, whatever they were afraid of, the Lord manifested it, and that's the demon that took them out ultimately. They went crazy. So we come into those times now that the Most High is getting ready to start spiting a lot of jakes, plaguing their imaginations, man. Because, hey, a lot of you jakes, man, you think you high and mighty, but the Most High knows where the fuck to get you at. Remember, this is a being that created you, okay? Uh, last precept, and I'm going to pull up to this to this hellhole deal with these fucking Edomites uh, Galatians 4.16 am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth and yeah that's right bro the water for the free man. you know that one in Luke that's the one I wanted to get it says um, they forbade him he said forbade him not because they taught in the name of the Lord so that's what matters at the end of the day if they're teaching the right doctrine and pushing in the name of how about you how we shy we don't have a problem with that they're doing the right thing and giving double honors and they it's all good but you other niggas that want to change the doctrine 
because you upset and you mad at the world hey jokes on you but anyway i'm in it there all praises and glory and honor that's due to you how about shimmy how shy and that shalom and a baba ball